Welcome back to Zombie Side Black Plague, where we are playing Quest 4 Famine with Baldrick's Bumbling Band. We have everything we need now. We have the apples, we have the salted meat, we have the water. We have to get down to the crypt and have no zombies in there with us. And uh, Baldrick has a cunning plan, <laughs> as usual. But up first in this uh, first turn is Anne. Anne has a hammer and the orcish bow. She's going to use the orcish bow to try and clean out some of these guys. So I'm going to readjust the camera. We're going to have to rolling dice. The orcish bow uh, is going to be rolling two dice. Uh, and I don't know if the deflecting dagger... Uh, oh yeah, plus one die equipped with a melee weapon. The orcish bow is considered a melee weapon. So she'll actually be rolling three dice. I think I've been messing that up. As I've been messing up a bunch of things through this episode. But luckily all the mess ups have been to the detriment of Baldrick's Bumbling Band. And not cheating for them. So I've just been making things harder for myself. Alright, let's get to Anne. She's rolling three dice. This could be quite good. Uh, hitting on a three plus. So I'm going to readjust the camera. We're going to get to rolling some dice. Alright, Anne's got four actions. And uh, Orcish Bow. Five walkers in this room, so let's get to rolling. Hits on a three plus. Come on, and three, three, and a five. That knocks out three of them right away. Taking Anne up to from 11 to 14 experience. She's still in the yellow. Uh, wow, this is pretty cool. We could win it right on the first turn, I think, if Anne doesn't mess up. Second action. Attacking again, she gets a pair of threes. That takes care of the two walkers. All right, this is going well. Um, and that takes her to 16 experience. She doesn't pop into the orange zone, but that's okay. But now Anne's got two actions left. One and two down to the vault she goes. All right, Baldrick didn't need to put his cunning plan into play. Okay, up next is Baldrick himself. Uh, he has four actions and he has a plus one free magic action and a spell caster which means he can he has two bait two free uh, spell actions and he has uh, a magic action four actions he just needs to get rid of this runner and what am i doing with Anne? Anne can't get down don't oh! and cannot get down hang on let's redo Anne. she did two attacks wiped out all of those um Took out all those walkers. Then she does Bloodlust Melee because there's a runner here getting ahead of myself. Bloodlust Melee. She's going to roll three dice again with the Orcish Bow. It's probably going to work, but we'll try it anyway. Three dice. She's going to try and take the runner out. She gets a four, five, and a one. The runner is in fact wiped out. Then she uses her final action to get down to the crypt. So, yes, we had to take the runner out. And that's going to take her to 17 experience, which isn't quite the orange. All right, when we come back, we're going to have Baldrick taking his turn because I have to change my battery. All right, well, it is now Baldrick's turn, and there's really not much for him to do except take one action and go down to the vault to join Anne. And as you can see very quickly, we're going to win this scenario. Clovis, four actions. One, two, three down to the vault. Then we go to Nelly, free move, down to the vault. And then we go to... Azur moving down into the vault. And so with that said, we'll take the vault tile. We'll stick it here because they have all successfully made their way down to the vault. There are no zombies in the vault. And we win the scenario famine. Despite my making poor strategic choices throughout the playthrough and messing up some of the rules. But like I said, all of the mess ups, I do believe, uh, that have been caught through comments and editing, have been to the detriment of Baldrick's Bumbling Band. But they pull it off once again. All right, I was getting a little bit concerned there. We have a Necromancer on the board. He's not close to escaping the board. Because uh, if we had six... Uh, permanent spawn points on the board, you immediately lose the game. And I think in the last episode, there were three zombies attacking. Anne and Azur and whatever, and they all had armor. I didn't even roll for it. I just gave them damage, which was dumb. <laughs> but again, to the detriment of the characters. All right, well, that was, uh, that's basically it. That's Famine, Quest 4, and Baldrick's Bumbling Band pulled it off again. It was touch and go there for a bit. 
at uh, one point uh, a lot of the party was down to one health but we did find the healing spell eventually uh, and yeah we were we were just having to search like crazy through the search deck uh, and we eventually found what we needed to find so thanks so much for watching along thanks for your comments subscriptions and likes really appreciate it and i think because we're here in the uh, beginning part of july uh, I may be able, I think I'm going to get one more playthrough uh, completed uh, before I take some time off for family and friends, which is uh, going to be included uh, playing lots of board games. But I will be offline for three weeks to a month possibly, uh, so there won't be any new content coming up on my channel, but that will be after the next playthrough. So basically from the, uh, somewhere from the last week of July through to about the third or fourth week in August, I will be offline away playing games so uh, i'm not sure what i'm going to be doing next because i never know but it's not going to be anything too huge and involved because i probably then won't have time to film it edit it and get it up here on my channel before i disappear for some fun and games of my own uh so yeah i don't know what it's going to be so once again you know thanks so much everyone for uh for sticking around uh, i do enjoy zombie side black plague better than the original but the original can be fixed quite easily by just making the house rule that uh, ranged weapons don't automatically hit your uh, survivor friends unless you miss and that pretty much solves that one i may go back to the original game uh, at some point do another scenario there uh, just to uh, show you the difference uh, as well but i've already done one playthrough but i've been using my house rule on that original playthrough which a lot of people didn't appreciate and that was if you use less than the six uh, uh, survivors you're supposed to use, uh, I do a percentage to have the spawn points actually spawn. So you don't just get overrun. If you want to play with one or two heroes and you spawn at every single spawn point, it's a very short game where you just get crushed. So, uh, yeah, so in uh, probably a few days or so... I will have another playthrough come up. Like I said, it's not going to be a big, long, complicated playthrough because uh, I've got to get ready for family and friends time. So, don't know what it's going to be, but it'll be something. So, thanks so much, everyone, once again, and we will see you in the next playthrough series.